Could a video game really be causing the UK divorce rate to increase? And are video games better than your marriage? Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Candice Carazales. You can subscribe for more social media news every day. Listen, I get it, people love video games. It's kind of like when you go to Vegas and you stick a quarter in the slot machine and then you stick 5,000 more quarters in the slot machine because you lost the last um, 4,999 times and then that 5,000 time comes around and guess what? You lose all your money, you lose all your savings um, and then your wife actually leaves you and she divorces forces you and she says, um, you actually lost all of our money and you're not paying any attention to me anymore. And this marriage honestly just isn't very fun for me, Frank. If you don't know what Fortnite is, you're probably not watching this video right now and you probably don't have internet. Fortnite is a video game that came out July 2017 and people really haven't stopped talking about it. According to the website Divorce Online, 200 people filing for divorce in the UK listed Fortnite as one of the reasons to why they were divorcing their significant other. Divorce Online, which is the website that found this information, stated these numbers equate to roughly 5% of the 4,665 petitions we have handled since the beginning of the year and as one of the largest filers of divorce petitions in the UK, it's a pretty good indicator. So for all we know, there could be more divorces stating Fortnite as the reason for filing the divorce. Also, this info is only coming from the UK. The US could have the same problem, uh, if not worse. After all, they say 50% of marriages end in divorce. Also, keep in mind, we don't know if Fortnite is the whole reason for the 5% of these divorces, okay? There could have been plenty of issues that arose beforehand. And maybe Fortnite was a good excuse to leave the marriage. Or Fortnite was the very last straw. No, Fortnite was probably the whole problem, for sure. There's always been debates about whether or not video games are bad for your mental health. If they cause people to do bad things, if they are as addictive as drugs and alcohol. But this year, the World Health Organization said that they recognize video game addiction as a mental health issue. I think it's important to note that the World Health Organization isn't saying video games are addictive. They're basically saying like people with addictive personalities can get addicted to video games. That's a possibility, just like drugs or alcohol or gambling or so on. Also, there's a lot of similarities to video games and gambling. Won't get into that now. So is it really Fortnite's fault? I mean, there's plenty of people who could play video games for just a couple minutes or just a few hours, right? There was a case of a nine-year-old girl who was sent to rehab because she couldn't stop playing the game. And evidently there are parents who are paying up to $20 an hour to help their kids get better at Fortnite. They're hiring Fortnite trainers for their children, which probably isn't helping the issue at all. Soon, we're just gonna be wearing goggles 24 seven and nobody will speak to each other anymore and we're just gonna all live in Fortnite. <sighs> so here's how people on the internet are reacting to this divorce news. Twitter user Maisie Parker said, imagine getting married and then getting a divorce over Fortnite. Is that what the American dream is? Hey, Maisie, just a small reminder, um, these statistics were in the UK, so maybe the US doesn't have this problem at all. <laughs> Another user said, new game, same old issue. It's not the game's fault. Balance your hobbies with your commitments. Maybe don't get married if you're gonna play uh, video games for the rest of your life. Maybe just get married to video games. People get married to inanimate objects all the time. And Twitter user John Zissimos said, I watched couples split up playing Pictionary back in the day. Not surprised by this. So what do you think? Do you think Fortnite is to blame? Would you divorce somebody for playing Fortnite all the time and not spending any time with you and not giving you any attention and not really making you feel good? For more stories like this, you can head to whatstrending.com. Thanks for watching, I'm Candace.